Welcome back, my name is Rodney and this is Quick Spell Co. This video is all about the Harry Potter wand book. Because maybe you want to learn more about the history behind these beloved items, or you're new to the Wizarding World. I'm going to show you inside this magical book, as well as where I got this. So if you'd like to see that, then stay tuned for the video. I got this wand book quite some time ago and it is filled with a lot of interesting information and there's some ones here that I've never seen close up before. So they actually put quite a lot of thought on making ones, not just like a wooden stick, right? I mean, I should see a close up of the progression of ones as well. So although Harry did actually have one original wand, they seem to have forgotten, ignored that and just showed this one. <laughs> Which is unusual because then with Ron, we see his different wand, which, well, I guess it's not unusual because Ron had a wand that broke and then he got a new one, specifically. But in the story, Harry only has one wand, so they weren't going to do anything about that. They just kind of ignored that. Hermione as well only has one wand, even though we see her with two in the films, but again, they've ignored that. The first two films, they've just gone straight from the third. Fred Weasley's, which I have actually had the one that you can buy, it doesn't have this particular curve. Draco's one, which I have already. And then Luna's two ones. I have Luna's second one, but I'm yet to buy her first one because you can't buy that individually, you have to get it as part of the Dumbledore's army set. So, hashtag wizard troubles. Got Cho Chang's wand. Now, look at this, how interesting is it? So, here's Padma Patel's wand which is very similar to another one that I'll show you later. Albus Dumbledore, which we know is the Elder One, thank you. Professor McGonagall, Professor Snape, Ruby's Hagrid, which is really cool because it's actually a fold-out bit. And I don't know if his, his wand is the whole of this and then it was turned into an umbrella, or if the wand is just at the base. Now this is a really cool wand that we've not seen as in detail before and this is Professor Lockhart's wand and you can see it's got a elegant lily pommel at the top of its handle. For some reason you can't buy it even though it's amazing but yes, no collection if you're watching please make this one available. Now Lupin's one's a little bit different, it's got more like a marble swirl on the handle which is different to the one you can actually buy. The Professor Moody which apparently the reason he's got so many is because Moody actually kept more than one. One of my favorite ones, because it's so cool and it looks exactly like that. Now, look at Cedric's wand, and now let's go back. So look at Padma's wand, and look at Cedric's wand. I think someone got lazy in the art department. <laughs> then we got Fleur de Cour's wand, which is really cool. Vita Crumbs, which looks exactly the same and is amazing. Sirius Blacks, which is again very cool, but a lot more brown in this. The one I got was very dark. Nymphadora Tonks' one, which is amazing. Lord Voldemort's, which looks the same as this to me. And now this is another one, Peter Retigrew. We only see this very briefly in the film, and it's quite interesting that it's a snake, and it's a really cool one as well. You'd think that it'd be more like Ratty, but maybe it's because he's a snake. The Xenophilus Lovegood, and then of course the amazing Lucius Malfoy wand, which I really, really want to get. I love it. And isn't it cool how his wand looks similar to Narcissa Malfoy's wand? So this is Garrick Ollivander's wand, which looks very similar to Mr. Grigorovich's wand. This doesn't include every single one. So they included some extra ones that we've never seen before, but then they excluded some ones that you can buy. Maybe there'll be Harry Potter The Wand Collection 2. I actually got this book as a gift, but I've included links in the description bar below, so if you'd like to get this book, then you can click on those links and get them there. That's it for this week's video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing through that Harry Potter one book. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, please just subscribe for more of the same Wizarding World content. You can do that by clicking on that box over there. And if you missed my last video, you can find that by clicking on that box over there. And as you know by now, the Wizarding World is just one spell away. <laughs>